Iran, Israel, the U.S. I mean, I, I maybe my recollection isn't quite right, but the way I recall it, I mean, Iran's obviously always been uh, not very popular in the U.S. But as I recall it, I mean, there was already a bit of a, like a kind of rumbling about Iran and what to do about them during the end of the Bush administration, and some people worrying that you know, oh well. Bush, you know, what if he starts another war? But, you know, obviously, given that he'd already started that the war against Afghanistan and Iraq, he didn't start that war. Um, and really, I mean, the way I figured it was that there was no way the U.S. was going to get involved in another such war like Afghanistan and Iraq in the next, I don't know, 10, 20 years that was kind of my figuring. Like I, I know it was optimistic, but the way I figured it was people were sick of the wars. They were very sick of the wars at the end of Bush's term. So I was thinking, you know, it was just not going to be electorally kind of popular enough for anyone to really pull that off and maintain any support. Um, and then kind of the rumblings got louder and louder and, you know, Iran was building nuclear weapons. Um, and now all of a sudden we seem to be, I mean, it's not quite at the stage where we were at with Iraq, where basically people were just counting down the days till the attack happened, but we seem to be close to that. It seems to be like a discussion of almost like when is what going to happen rather than that's not going to happen because that's crazy shit and we're not going to do it because it's going to kill many many people are gonna be stupid um and i like i i'm not i'm not a i'm not i don't study politics i don't study any of these things so i guess that's why i'm the idiot that didn't you know understand that this was even a possibility but apparently it is apparently it's a possibility that that not just a possibility, but you know, it, it's it's not even a small possibility that Israel is going to attack Iran, and that the U.S. is going to write Israel a blank check for an attack on Iran, and then support it in some military way. Now, the thing is, in everyone's ideal vision, that's going to be a surgical airstrike. There's going to be a couple of nuclear underground evil reactors that are going to blow up and it's going to be over and the Iranians are never going to rebuild them and they're going to give up on nukes and the world will be at peace. Now, given the record of interventions over the last decade or so, um, I don't know, doesn't it seem like there should be a lot more concern that something might go wrong. Something might go horribly wrong. Now, as we know, Afghanistan was no challenge at all for the US military. Iraq was a very tiny challenge after effectively having been neutered um, during the first Gulf War. Uh, Iran is a much different proposition. They have a much more <laughs> ready military, um, a much more resilient and resistant and unified population. So the it's obviously it's going to be very messy. The thing is, no one's talking about a ground war. Yes, that would be crazy. But that said, if we're going to start this stuff, what is to say it's not going to be some kind of falling dominoes? What's to say? Everyone's, that's the reason why people are supposedly going after Iran is because they're a loose cannon. They're crazy. And if they have a nuke, they're going to go nuts and shoot everyone. I don't believe that's true. But if they're crazy, if you attack them, and you don't wipe them out, which obviously the attack isn't going to do, then what are they going to do if they're crazy? They're going to go nuts. Now, even if they're not crazy, 
they're probably going to want to respond in some very, very aggressive manner to having been attacked inside their own country, no matter what the outcome is of such an attack. And, I mean, there's lots of possibilities here. I mean, what is it, the Straits of Hormuz? I mean, that's, that's probably going to look like child's play. Uh, are they going to do other things? I mean, terrorism increasing them, sponsoring more terrorists. I mean, that's almost a given. Um, and if you think that Iraq sponsoring a couple of terrorists was bad, wait till Iran sponsors the terrorists and supports them with their, uh, with their, with their much more uh, potent uh, secret intelligence network. But there could also be something just something that's out of even that scenario happening and that could trigger off another reaction and then another reaction and then we'd be in a situation where suddenly there's like a real proper war with Iran in the region another Muslim country being attacked by Israel and the US now I, I really don't see how this is not going to end up catastrophically. I mean, Russia and China are going to go nuts. You can definitely count on that. They're not going to be they're not going to be silent on this one. Um, they showed that on Syria that they've basically had enough of things, and I definitely don't agree with their their decision on Syria uh, to a large extent. But they've showed that they're not going to go along with things anymore. Um, and it's, it's just going to rip everything apart. Uh, it's going to be such a risky, risky thing to do to a world. And I mean, just to throw in some other things, obviously there's enormous loss of life at risk there. But the world economy has just recovered from a ginormous implosion and the oil is in the Middle East. What's the conflict going to do to that? I, if war in Iran happens in the next five years, I hope it never happens. And the loss of life is really, really bad. And people should keep this in mind. But it's just there's too many factors which are too unpredictable it's not going to go well and it could go catastrophically for the entire world um and i don't know it's like it just seems like like the world is going down an avenue almost like with the first gulf war uh sorry not the first one the second one the second Iraq war with Bush Jr. where like it it seems just like it's getting increasingly likely until the point where maybe it gets inevitable yet most people that aren't extreme hawks that want to blow up the world are going why what's going on here why are we doing this this isn't a good idea and yet it's still going on and the escalation still keeps happening. And um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, like, I, that, that's the thing. I don't even know why I'm talking about it because obviously the people that are making these decisions, um, they're not going to watch this video. But what seems amazing to me is that at this point, as far as I understand, pretty much everywhere in the world people are sick of war yet this is still a possibility i don't get it how can this happen how can we not step back from the brink how can we keep being like we're not the stupid ones that's the thing people don't want this i don't think people in the u.s want this i know people nowhere else want this i know that for sure how can this still even be on the agenda how can an issue so unpopular risk destabilizing everything? Enough of this rant. I've said all that I want to say on the issue and I don't have any great insights on it. Obviously, this is probably what you've been thinking about, what everyone's been thinking about as they watch this whole thing unfold. 
but it's just so frustrating to me. That's why I wanted to get it out because it's so frustrating to see the way that all of these politics work, that all of this kind of real politic and all of this interweaving of the different interests and the alliances work. It's like, you know, that's how World War I started. It's this, this machine of nations and their interests and their interlocking kind of mechanisms. And then it just, it starts clicking and then no one can shut it off. And I just hope that, you know, I don't think it's going to be World War Three. Don't get me wrong. I'm not that pessimistic or, but it might be very bad. And it's going to be more people who are going to die for no reason. And we just, we've got enough blood on our hands at this stage as it is we don't need more of this